To these protesters, it's clear what the alternative for Germany party stands for. Nazis, get out, they shout. On the other side of the fence, leaders of the AFD are campaigning for parliament seats in Bavaria. Our most important point is that we want to stop migration. We want pushback centres at Germany's borders and we want to stop giving cash money to refugees and reject all illegal immigrants. Polls show the AFD could become the second largest party in Bavaria. Listening to their campaign, it sounds like Germany has only one problem, and that is migration and the arrival of refugees. But limiting the number of asylum seekers is not only a popular theme for the far right, other parties are campaigning on it as well. Yet economists say that Germany needs nearly half a million foreign workers to keep its economy going. And that's a message that politicians here seem to avoid. Bavaria's Prime Minister Markus Söder of the largest party, the Conservative CSU, wants migration to be capped. While facing strong competition, the CSU is expected to win this election. We say yes to helping people, but we urge our Chancellor in Berlin to have a clear plan and stop uncontrollable migration. At a reception centre in Munich, these refugees from Sierra Leone have been travelling for months through dozens of countries. They tell us that Germany is their best hope for protection. Bavaria has registered more than 30,000 asylum seekers this year, an increase of nearly 80% on 2022. But that's less than half the number of refugees who arrived in 2015. Municipalities have been struggling to house them, and new shelters like this one near Munich are being built, sometimes against the will of local residents. The focus is always on refugees, refugees and refugees. For us Germans, not much has been done. When you look at the prices, normal workers like us can hardly afford our groceries any longer, nor pay our rent. A sentiment often hurt during this election campaign. It scares me. We have come here because we don't have any opportunities at home. We work hard to contribute and we should overcome any divisions together. Extremism does not help Germany. Others are concerned as well. Ahead of the vote, more than 30,000 people took to the streets in Munich to protest against the rise of the right. Soon they'll know what the response of nearly 10 million Bavarian voters will be. Stepfasen, Al Jazeera, Munich.